How's it going and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have a no cool call on a residential application. The customer says that it's just not keeping up. So we're gonna go out there and see what we can find. Let's do some work. This video is sponsored by Blue On, upgrading the HVAC industry. And by RLS, original, patented, proven. All right, so before we jump into this video, I want to let you know that Blue On has just announced their latest version of their app, 2.0. They're super excited, as well as I am, about what this is going to do for the industry and for the technicians out in the field. So right now, they are running a giveaway on their black camo hat. All you have to do is go to their app at the very top into the search bar, type in GSX HAT for you and request a hat and that's it they're going to send a hat directly to you basically they're just wanting you to get on the app and show you how simple it is to request parts when you're out in the field so go ahead and jump on that app and get you a hat because supplies are limited All right, so the customer came around the corner and I had to stop filming the rest of that process, but it went just like this. 
I found the leak on the indoor coil. As you could see, it was all rusted out. It did take me a little bit because there were some really small holes that I had to find. Now, so what I did is I just gave that information to the customer, told them how much it was going to cost to make the repair, and also you know, due to the age of the equipment, they chose to go with replacing that system. So that's what we did. We went back uh, just a couple days later and we swapped out that system and now they're running good. But what I wanted to do was just take a moment to show my process on this type of service call whenever I run into a uh, low or no refrigerant situation. So basically what I'll do, I'll look at the system. If it's extremely low to where I know that it's going to take a lot of refrigerant to get it back up and running, I won't just uh, top it off or start trying to find a leak at that point. What I'll do is I'll bump the pressure up with nitrogen, get it up to, you know, whatever the system is rated for. And uh, that's going to really help me try to find that leak on that electronic leak detector. Those field piece um, leak detectors are really good, but I still like to bump the pressure up as high as I possibly can just to make that, the, the finding the leak that much easier. So that's what, I'll, that's what I do. I bump the pressure up uh, and I just start sniffing out. I'll use my soap bubbles as well. And I'll just go to town trying to figure out where all the leaks are. And I, I try to make sure that I don't just stop when I find one leak. I keep going. I want to see if I can find multiple leaks. So that way, if they do choose to go the repair route, I have all that information. I know that, hey, there's multiple leaks that we have to address. So anyhow, that's the process for that. Now, if it was just a little bit low, um, I might just go ahead and top it off once I get approval from the customer to do, to do that. But um, again, this was extremely low, so I just bumped it up with nitrogen, and that helped me find the leak. But that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope you got something out of it. You know, this might be like an elementary type of, uh, you know, service call or a video to show. But the reality is there's a lot of people watching my videos that are just now getting into the trade and they've never actually experienced that type of service call. So I want to make sure I cover all of those types of repairs and like my thinking process and, you know, just my process in general on how I would go about that type of service call. So anyway, I hope you got something out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later.